all right hello everyone hey guys how's it going and welcome back um for another total war live stream with the terminator hey guys uh it's me again it's been a while it's 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 been a long while actually um and uh and i'm finally back uh <laughs> It's it's been a crazy crazy year. It's been a crazy few months actually for the channel for myself and trying to um, juggle real life things and and keep doing this, trying to do it for a living. Uh, so it's 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 been difficult basically. But you know the channel's been growing. Uh, the last few months, the videos I've been making have been some of the best I've ever made. Some of the most you know viewership. You know there's been some really great fantastic things. Uh, happening and um, it's a lot of work basically so I've, I've been basically in a place where for the last four weeks six weeks trying to focus on myself a little bit and then get myself to a place where I'm happy to to keep doing it and I'm here now so welcome guys welcome to the live stream today we're gonna play some Total War and it's gonna be Medieval Kingdoms uh, 1212 AD. We're going to continue our Trebizond campaign because it was a hell of a fun campaign, actually. And uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a sticky situation, too, because we've just conquered Constantinople, if you, if you, uh, if you remember. And um, the Kingdom of Nicaea aren't very happy about that. So, yeah, we're basically in a space where we need to end them. <laughs> And then focus on uh, focus on maybe the Celtics uh, in Anatolia or who knows we'll see. Well, let's see who's here on the live stream. We've got Gamer Talking, uh, JS Checks. Been waiting for you, bro. Oh, thank you, um, Tony Pat. Welcome back. Thank you, Gregon SK Majaya Fayum as well. Majai, welcome to the stream. Uh, Faridabor GD, hello. Wave back to you. The Armored Dearies or Winter Apple. Winter Apple, welcome to the stream. Uh, great to have you here. Martin Coranda and Demetrios. Greetings from Serbia. Hello. Oh, where have you been? The Terminator boy. The Terminator boy, la la la. <laughs> uh, MD, I've been here, man. I've been here. I've just been... Um, basically, I've just... I've taken a step back a little bit. Like, it's it's tough, you know? It's, it's quite tough to make... Uh, videos and do live streams every week and figure out what what you're gonna do next and plan and script write and edit and create thumbnails that are um, catchy and you know that obviously you know are a little clickbaity that will succeed because because um, that's that's what the channel has become you know it's 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 become trying to continue uh, momentum and growth and uh, viewership and. At the end of the day, it's trying to create an income. So, um, if you don't know if you don't know how YouTube works, when you have a YouTube channel and you're making an income from it, it's from Google uh, ad revenue. So every ad that you see uh, when you watch one of my videos, uh, I get paid a certain percentage of that. Um, and uh, to rely on that stream, that single stream of revenue, basically is is tough because it fluctuates month on month right so most youtubers they don't rely on that they have other revenue streams they have merchandising they have uh sponsorships uh, of one form or another whether that's a channel sponsorships uh sponsorship or video sponsorships or whatever it is um or you get you know digital products or um or you know live stream donations like some of you've done um so, so basically, for the last six weeks, I've been kind of sitting back and thinking, how do I want to continue this and and get a steady income, um, uh, a bit more consistent, I guess, because uh, it's it's been quite good, up and down, up and down, but it's steadily been growing. It's just how do I supplement that a little bit and and yeah, basically, I found a way and uh, I'm working on it and uh, it's it's going well. Basically, guys, um, I've got a brand sponsorship for the channel potentially coming up um and it's it's really exciting and uh uh i'll be doing an integrated ad just to you know give you heads up as well i'll be doing an ent integrated ad for this company next week in one of my videos and that might lead to a channel sponsorship which if it does would really take some of the pressure i've been feeling off of making videos still make them great and good uh, but you know, there's there's an added pressure and stress of making them good enough to earn 
um, and get that ad revenue going. So, yeah, uh, that's where I've been, guys, for the last six weeks. That's where I've been, and uh, I'm back now because because I'm feeling a lot better about it all, and I'm um, I'm 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 hopeful, basically. Uh, so yeah. Uh, let's get started, guys. Uh, so we are the Empire of Trebizond. What happened was we started off with, obviously, Kaffa up here. We started off with Trebizond and Synop. And uh, I basically, I made the executive decision uh, to create an army uh, and go west straight to Constantinople. And that's what we did. We captured the city. Um, we... Uh, I think I might have already done the decision, didn't I? Yeah, I, I reformed uh, kind of the... I think I did anyway. Um, the uh, the Eastern Roman Empire, kind of, because you get that mission with the uh, with Medieval Kingdoms Total War. Uh, and now we're in the middle of a bloody war between us and Nicaea. They have Nicaea and Sisychus down there. We were, we're also wrangled in a war with... Um, with Venice, and it looks like they're sending an army up. Uh, so just need to keep an eye on that. And, of course, the Kingdom of Cilicia, which is not ideal, not very timely to have um, a three-front war, essentially. So I'm going to have to essentially beat back the Nicaeans, take these cities, and then start moving south and then east. I mean, the Celtics, I don't know if I'm going to touch, really. They're, they're relatively strong. I've got a... Uh, an alliance with the Kingdom of Georgia, and they've been doing really well, actually, to come in here and sweep through um, Celtic lands, which has been nice. You know, the AI has been kind of like, yeah, I'll do an alliance with you and uh, push them towards this area. So they've kind of been helping me keep this eastern side secure. So it's all about basically taking out the threat over here. Um, <clears throat> so just looking at the channel for a second, uh, the chat... Jaya Terminator, please make an install video for the new Empire 2 update. Yeah, I can I can have a look at that. Uh, Impractical Brit, hello, hello. Ali Osman Kanat, respect from Istanbul. Hey, man, welcome. Uh, already the people have asked. Vader645, hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, 1212 AD, only thing that matters is 82 AD. Carl P, yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. Hello, Matt Wada, welcome. Uh, Philippakis, hey Terminator, glad you're back, my man. Thank you, great to be here. Um, Joel, I'm glad you're back. Thank you. Glad to see you back. If anything, getting reliable income from sponsors might even help you make better videos without having to worry about the ad revenue. Yeah, so that's the idea, Edan. Basically, um, you know, it's it's been it's been great to grow the channel as big as it's gotten. Uh, and you know that growth will continue. I'm sure the more content I make. It's just a matter at the moment for me of um, making it sustainable. You know, that's that's what it's all about. Like making sure um, making sure my life is sustainable because because this is quite a difficult uh, and unique kind of journey to take. And, you know, I've, I've started eating healthier and working out more and, you know, taking a focus on myself. And through that, I've been able to essentially find ways to make the channel more sustainable as well. So that's what it's all a bit. That's that's what it's been all about, basically. Uh, make an alliance with Serbia. Yeah, why not? Uh, no Kievan Rus stream. Whack. <laughs> I did a I, Ilya. I did. I swear, I did a Ki Kievan Rus uh, like an hour of gameplay uh, a few a few months ago. Uh, but I'll do one just for you. It's coming up. It's coming up. I swear. Um, you mention this every stream, so I'm I'm. It's in the back of my mind. Um. Hello, Morris, and hello, I'm going to butcher this name. I'm going to say your last name, Nixon. Hopefully that's your, your, yeah. Hello from Germany. Hello, hello. Hello from Georgia. Georgia, nice. I'm, I'm, I've got an alliance with them going at the moment. Uh, I am once again asking for, yeah, I know, I know. Ilya, I, I hear you and it, and I, I can, I, I definitely want to do it. So it's coming up. I promise. Um, hi from France. I love your videos on mods. They're really good. And now it's the first time I watch you live. Regan Brand, welcome. It's great to have you here. Uh, I do this twice a week, guys. Um, and the next one will be coming up, I think, on Thursday. I've got a little whiteboard here to tell me 
what my plan is and you know all these plans that i've got for the channel uh i've got divid a uh, adam para coming up later this week so that should be good fun too because the the latest update was released a, a couple months ago and i haven't had much of a chance really um uh you're playing an offensive war whilst you should be playing one on defense and then go on the attack i mean fair true to, to be fair though i mean any defensive kind of um uh anything defensive i need to be doing is kind of hopefully done through georgia um so i'm not really worried about like i i'd rather be able to consolidate this and defend it against anyone coming up and then keep pushing forward down here that's basically the plan um or i'll try anyway could have hit 13 hello uh I do agree. Uh, right now, historical content is going to take a backseat while we have Warhammer content for the time being. I'll try and create more historical content when possible. Hell yeah, Majai. You, you should, definitely. Hello from Palestine. Gamer talking. I love these, like, hello from, from places because you guys are, you know, from all over the world and it's and it's an amazing thing. So, uh, hello from London from me. <laughs> uh, London calling from Telvito Cat. Hey, man. I was just saying I'm from London. Um, hello from Ukraine. Ilya uh gamer talking we're back i know we've been back a few times in the last few months and it's been a bit of a uh uh here or there kind of year so far but um i'm definitely back now uh morris yes moldovan cossack hello from moldova great to have you here so we have these armies in constantinople um this one's just taken a beating from a battle. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're going to just move these armies back here, I think. And uh, let's see what happens. I'm guessing that... Um, I'm guessing what's going to happen is one of these armies is going to besiege Constantinople. And the other one is going to attack the army. Is my guess. Um... We've got some recruitment going on, which is fine. We don't have a massive income, but I'm going to get the mercenaries anyway, because we're kind of in dire straits here, really. Constantinople has a decent enough garrison. You know what? Um, What I'm going to do is... Because this army is like beaten up and bloody. We're going to take this army out. You know, let's just get rid of these um, mercenaries. I, I don't really need them at the moment. We're going to send this army back to Sinop. And uh, we're going to get this army, which is... I mean, it's not massively uh, ready, really. But we can get it a bit more ready, so... We've got some decent cavalry units here. Um you may as well get comfy, man. Let's get some skirmisher cav and one of those. And then what does this army have? We've got some spearmen here. If we can get the spearmen healed up, add it to this one and send it west. We're gonna have a good time. Alternatively, if we get Georgia to help us with this um war against Nicaea. That would really help as well. Yeah. Um, is there anything else we can do to diplomacy wise? Jerusalem doesn't want to. And Tioch doesn't want to. For my people's part, welcome. In the meantime, though, uh, like while I've been off, because part of obviously me being off and uh, not making a lot of content uh, for the last few months, it's given me time to uh, focus on myself, right? And and do uh, some, you know, gaming for myself, essentially, you know, you, you sit down and game for yourself. So I've been playing a bunch of different games. I've been playing Hell at Loose. I've been playing Star Citizen. I don't know if you guys, uh, play Star Citizen. I'm not trying to divide the community here for a second. Don't be like, oh my God, it's a scam. 
oh my god it's amazing like it's it's it, it is what it is right uh for what it is i'm a big star trek fan and i love the expanse and all that so um i really really enjoy star citizen for what it is um what else have I been playing? I've been playing... So I've been playing some Total War. I've been playing the latest uh, uh, updates for Parabellum for Rome 2. Um, and I've been playing... Minus one. Uh, let's increase this a bit. I've been playing... Let's end the turn here. What else have I been playing? I've been playing uh, Dead Space. I picked up the first Dead Space game, and uh, that's been pretty fun. It's it's the remastered version, so I got it. I played a bunch and uh, added my own reshade preset to make it look better. Obviously, I always do that. Um, and it's a really, really fun game. After all these years, it holds up really well. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much a lot of what I've been playing, really. Um, let's have a look at the chat. Uh, Ikloko 100, Netherlands. Uh, is the map changed or is it the same as Attila? It's the same Attila map, yeah. You know, Georgia wants me to go to war with the Bavandids. Hmm. No, I'm good. Uh, Medieval 2 for King or Country mod is fantastic. Beautiful mod. Assuming you're British, it has, it hits right at home. Uh, Armor Deeries. I'll definitely check it out for sure. I've actually got it on my list. Um, I have a list of mods basically that I want to cover in the next few months. You know, there's stuff like Sardom's on there. I'm pretty sure for King of Co or Country's on there as well. Uh, there's a modder, uh, in my Discord community called The Duke, um, and he's done a couple mods for Empire, and uh, he's working on one for Napoleon that I really want to cover. I've been saying I, I, I wanted to cover for a long while now. So there's Prelude to War, which is a good one. He's working on, and he's done one for Napoleon, which I'm going to be uh, showcasing as well. Um, there is a new Lord of the Rings mod for Troy, which uh, apparently is uh, interesting. So I'm going to be checking out that. Uh, and... Yeah, I mean, there, there's there's plenty of mods to still cover in Total War, obviously. Uh, are we going to get Hamsile Ekmek in Trabzon? <laughs> yeah, we could do, man. The Impractical Brit. Welcome to Termi Fan. Thank you, dude. Uh, that's that's insane. Uh, so, guys, if you don't know what this is, Termi Fan is a membership um, tier, essentially. Uh, I think I think Nicaea is just going to let me have Constantinople. Interesting. And, um, and you basically get like perks, uh, you get shout outs like this with the impractical Brit. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's basically the join button on the channel homepage. So if you want to support the channel, uh, then, uh, you know, any and all support is super appreciated. I'm very grateful. So impractical Brit, my man, seriously, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Um, all right, so we've got a bit of cavalry going on in this army now, which is good. I'm going to get a few more, I think, just cheap-ish units here. Get some Peltas as well. Why not? Um, and then, yeah, we're going to take the fight to Nicaea. Are these guys actually replenishing? No, they're not. Recent events. That's fine. Um, let's see what happens next. Uh, I think a big concern should also be the Mongols. Oh, 100%. I'm pretty sure the Mongols are already besieging the Kingdom of Georgia on the east side. So I'm, uh, I'm very, very much... <laughs> I'm very much keeping my eye on that. Alliance with Serbia may be able to help you with the Venetian front. That way your western border will be much more secure so you can focus on your uh, campaign in Anatolia. Demetrios, you strategic genius. Uh, yeah, 100%, dude. Um, I'm hopefully... Oh, looks like Georgia is going back. Uh, probably. And they want me to go to war with the Seljuks now as well. I'm going to decline that for a second. Georgia's going back, which I'm guessing is because of the Mongols over here. There you go, the Olus of Joshi. Uh, so he's coming down here. Um, and I've got Bulgaria as a potential ally as well. 
they might be able to secure my western border a bit as well but bulgaria serbia yeah that area would be would be good to have an alliance with i do need trade definitely um would love to see a new medieval kingdoms or empire oh man me too i have a vfs error and can't play attila morris uh tell me a little bit more because i'm not sure what that means really um all right let's get this army off that and into the city this is a bit interesting maybe the Celtics are going after Georgia <laughs> okay well no worries we've got a few more units being recruited here Yeah, let's just leave that. Let's leave that for now. We're going to use we're going to basically hold a defensive defensive front here. I don't know um let's see if there's anything else I can do here. Um Venice. So yeah, Bulgaria might be a good one. Interesting. Bulgaria has a vassal. That's kind of cool. Da, da, da. Maybe I can arrange a marriage with them. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, why am I demanding payment? I speak as the representative of my most august. Ah, uh, let's leave that for now. But I do want a alliance up there. So maybe I, I'll go meet Ser Serbia. I haven't met them yet, have I? I got an agent. I've got an agent already. Where is he? He's here. All right, let's just reduce the tax level slightly. And then... Yeah. Da, da, da. Let's just have a look at the chat for a second. What if they did a Total War Western? Ryan, oof, with the curveball there. I'm off the beer, as you can see. I'm on Diet Coke. <laughs> um, That could be interesting. Total War Western could also be a bit weird. What will it what will what will be the next total war in your opinion? This is a question that many people have asked me. Um and I'm actually making a video about this question because a lot of people have been asking me, right? So it's it's worthy of an answer and you know, obviously the answer is historical. Uh but I think for me, it's about why and what that game could look like um, and why why it's going to be good, because I think a lot of people look at the next potential historical like total war and they say, yeah, it could be a historical. But they immediately say it's going to be bad, right? Because we've had uh, the debacle of a launch of Rome, two, We've had the buggy, unoptimized uh, Attila. We've had the um, pretty bland Thrones of Britannia. Uh, we've had a cartoony Warhammer like Troy, and we've had 3K, 3K, which is probably the most successful iteration of modern CA historical, right? It's just, it's not just historical. There's a lot of romance to it. There's a lot of fantasy, not fantasy, but you know, fantastic elements to it. Um, so my answer is obviously it's historical. Historical is 100% next, but I'm hopeful, uh, and the reason why I'm hopeful is because the CA we have today isn't the CA of five years or ten years ago. Um, this is this is a post Warhammer CA that needs to look into the future and say what's next, right? Um, and 
they're very they're very aware. Like I've I've had conversations with people at CA about this. They're super aware of the historical community. They're incredibly aware of the desire, the want for a new historical game. Um, and, you know, they've spoken about it here and there. They're hiring some bits here and there for it. So, um, in, in my honest opinion, historical is next. Uh, the teams that are probably working on it are, uh, are not the teams that we've had before. And I think post Warhammer CA is going to be doing historical in a new way as well, because when you look at the history of CA, we had, we had Shogun, Rome, medieval, no, we had. Shogun Medieval, Rome, uh, Medieval 2, and and that and that kind of era was like this kind of original total war, right? And then we got Shogun 2 Empire, Napoleon, Rome 2, Attila, which was like, how do we make historical better? That was CA's like that was CA's attempt to make historical even better than how it was when it first launched, right? And then they went into fantasy with Warhammer. And since then, it's been a brand new style of Total War. It's It's been a lot more um, horizontal, in my opinion, versus vertical. So there's been hundreds of factions. There's been massive maps, huge spectacles of battles, and a huge variety of units. I mean, compared to what's been before, like the Warhammer games have a massive number of diverse uh interesting uh faction mechanics and units uh that make the games replayable that's what they're about right um sorry i'm going off on a tangent here and not playing so i'm gonna try and keep playing here uh but my point is the ca uh that we have right now isn't the ca that we had in those previous total war eras and with the end of warhammer in my opinion we're going into a new era of total war yes Warhammer is going to be continuing. Warhammer 3 is here to stay. I mean, the DLCs are, that are going to be coming for the next, like, five years. I bet they have a five-year plan for Warhammer 3. It's going to be insane. But uh, for me, CA should be looking into the horizon and saying, what's next? And what's next should be historical in a new brand, not brand new, but, you know, in a new kind of perspective, a new way of doing historical Total War. Um, so yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. I think historical's next, and I think it's going to be medieval or empire, in my honest opinion. I think it's going to be, you know, it'll be like a Victoria, or, uh, it'll be a, an empire too, but, um, with a lot more to it, and, and not buggy as hell. Uh, or it'll be a medieval, and it will be... It will, I think if it's a medieval, it will come in iterations. It will come in a kind of first version with, you know, uh, Europe, with the early Middle Ages, with um, the establishing of the Pope and all that. Like, I, I think that's, personally, I think that's what's coming. Um, yeah. All right, so the Cilicians are going on the offensive here. Uh, hey, Belgian guy. No worries, man. Glad to have you back. I'm practical Brit. Seriously, thank you. Uh, good to have you back. Thank you. GG, goodbye. See you all. Bye. Mongolian throat singing intensifies. By the way, are you in need of another community manager? Uh, Belgian guy, yes. Uh, for, for my Discord, um, as a moderator on the channel, maybe as well. Yeah, I am. I am looking for a new community manager. What happened with the other campaign with the Byzantines? Um, well, I mean, it's, it's, we've had two updates since that campaign, so I haven't been able to essentially get back into it or play it, uh, because the saves aren't, aren't playable anymore. Um, 220 turns is Empire of Nicaea. My next target is Venice and Jerusalem. I like it. Nice. Uh, so we've got this Cilician army here. You know what? I'm going to try and see if Cilicia wants to have peace, because... I'm not, I'm really not a big fan of two front wars. They rejected that. Let's go, you know what, let's, let's go a little bit higher. 
Okay, that's fine. Um, and the Celtics just have an army, like, roaming my lands. Hmm. And this army is not replenishing. Let's keep, let's keep this army going, I think. <laughs> I love the voice lines in this. Run faster! You something, sl I, I hear slug events. Slag events? Um, what I'm worried about is Trebizond, really, because there's an okay-ish garrison there, but it's not enough to, not enough to hold these guys back. Come on, Cilicia. These guys are stubborn, man. Yeah, I think that was worth it. I don't want to go to war with Cilicia. That would be dumb. We're going to focus on this area here. Take these guys out. And then we're going to squish the Salchuks from the middle. And then, and then we'll do Cilicia. Um... All right. Yo, term the lettuce looks good. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Nick. Each time I play 12, 12 AD, Mongols are destroyed quite soon by Kumans and other Eastern factions. Oh, fair enough. Uh, what is the name of the Troy Lord of the Rings mod? Can you get it in Epic Games? So the Troy Lord of the Rings mod is not out yet. It's in development um, and it's not i don't think it's coming out for a while yet like it was pretty much just announced really um but it's ooh i'm under siege now uh its name is where the shadows lie i think uh and i'm not sure if they're developing it for epic but it's definitely coming on steam uh, gamer talking, what is your mic? Uh, so I use a Rode NT1A and uh, I've been using this mic for about, I've been using this mic for about eight years. I got it eight years ago. And yeah, I I love it. I mean, um, to be honest, part of me is hoping I can get a sponsorship with Rode because I absolutely love their equipment and it's good you know it's it's really really good stuff okay so our city our beloved city is under siege by two massive armies actually it's just one huh I could actually beat this army you know Okay, we're going to decline that, and we're going to attack this army with this one here on the land. Um, we're also running out of money, so that's not very good. And the Salchuks have decided to raid our lands. Um, yeah, they're really pushing it, aren't they? My friend, you honor this place with your arrival. Your humble servant in matters of diplomacy await your word. Yeah, okay. One way to get rid of that, obviously, is to, you know, have a trade agreement with them. They're not going to raid me if they're trading with me. Um, so it's just a quick win at the moment. We will trade with them for now. And then in about 10 turns, once we've secured the west side of Anatolia and possibly Greece as well. We'll focus on the Selchuks. Uh, either a Medieval 3 from 1066 to... Uh, da, if they could pull off a World War 1, World War 2, more power to them, they'll probably do 40k. Yeah, I agree with you. Yep. Uh, definitely another Empire. You're going in debt, by the way. Yeah, I know. Uh, Akunin! Humble Bulgarian help. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Akunin. That's very kind of you. Uh, seriously, it's very much appreciated. Um, try to wrangle some money out of these guys. 
Uh, again, sorry. I'm very grateful, Akunin. Thank you very much for your donation. That's really kind. All right, let's just retreat from that. I don't think they can follow us. Okay, they can. Uh, but I think we can take them on. So we're going to try and fight this one. Med 3, if it comes, is going to be amazing. Agreed. Yeah, I agree. EP, hey, nice to see you live. Welcome, EP. Oh, one of my first subscribers. It's great to have you here, man. Hope you're doing well. Uh, EP, I hope Medieval. Oh, me too, man. Uh, I would also want a Medieval 3. I wouldn't mind a remaster, but a Med 3 would be better. I mean, they're definitely doing a Medieval remaster, guys. Let's just... Let's just get at, get that out of the way. Medieval 2 Remastered, if it's on mobile, it means that Feral Interactive have everything. Uh, they have all the assets, they have the game code, they have everything they need to remaster it. So, um, like, it's definitely happening, basically. I guarantee it. Like, uh, but a Med 3 would be, would be amazing. <clears throat> At this point, I just want CA to announce a historical. I uh, can't argue with that, Magi. Alright, so we're going to have a front line of spearmen there. We're going to have these guys backed up by just run of the mill infantry. We're going to have. Um... We're going to have some archers out on the side and I'm going to cover them with cav so that no enemy cav trying to get near it really I'll have some infantry over here as well then some infantry there let's have the general here and then we've got the peltasts which they'll leave on this side as well I mean this front line is going to be a little bit tough, I think. But um, if I can hold it, which doesn't usually happen, to be fair, um, then I think I think we'll have an easier time. Let's see what happens. Um, The, the main, like, crux of this is going to be the archers, though, on the left. Because these guys are going to hold the line. Archers are going to... Archers are hopefully going to get down the cavalry with some cav help. And then all of this is going to swing around. And uh, try and flank. Uh, da, 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 perhaps another Shogun. I doubt that. Terminator, hey, a champ, miss your content. Always brightens up my day. Georgia Mihalkov. Uh, thank you, man. That's really kind. It's 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 kind words like you, honestly. Um, that really, really makes this rewarding. Like seriously, you guys and the and the donations and uh from Akunin and you know, every, you know, impractical Brit becoming a member, like like Georgie Mihalkov, like becoming yeah, you know, with your kind words. Like, this is really what I love um, about this channel. I love making the content. I love finding the mods and playing them and, and you know, writing the script, stitching it all together. But you guys and, and you know, your support is super, super kind. And uh, it's, it's definitely the best part, to be honest. Uh... Da, da, da. Terminator love from Bangladesh. Hey, man. Uh, Belgian guy. Why don't we talk about this on Discord? Definitely. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm up for it. Definitely. Impractical Brit gifted a membership. Oh, I appreciate that, man. That's really kind. Thank you. Renardo Mata, hey Termi. <laughs> I feel like I butcher that every time I say it. Hey man, welcome to the stream. It's 
still Rome 2 is awesome. Rome 2 is awesome. That's a hell of a statement. I mean, Rome 2 is okay. Um, I think for me, Rome 2 on its own gets boring a bit quickly. Um, I have to play it with mods like these days. I, I can't really play it um, without mods. They're taking the high ground, really? Um... What are we going to do here? Okay, um... Let's group all of these guys up. And let's get to, like, there. So, they have all of their... Pretty much all of their cavalry on the right side here. They've got their general on the left. Bulk of the infantry in the middle. Peltas at the front. Hmm. Oh, this is going to be tough. I can feel it already. What are their cav like? Light bow, light shock, heavy lights. Yeah. Um they have two generals. Okay, you know what? Let's just hold position here. And, um... Let's... I'm gonna move... You know what? I'm gonna move you and you... Over here. You guys need to reform the line. these guys going okay cool they're coming towards me now fine uh yeah so we're gonna do a bit of a loose formation with these guys let's have the general over here I think Oof, they have four. Jesus. Okay, they have a lot of cavalry on the on the left. God, this is going to be very tough, isn't it? They have more cav. They have more melee infantry. Uh, Impractical Brit, somebody would have gotten the membership, so somebody definitely got it. I'm not sure who, though. I can tell you in a bit. Uh, I'll, I'll check in a second. Let's just get through this battle, I think. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> this is actually ridiculous. Actually, no. Or, or yeah, no. I'm, I'm just second guessing myself here, but. I think they're going to push the cav. And as they do that here, the archers are going to try and hit them basically from the side. Or that would be the ideal, anyway. Let's 
Let's go a bit deep like this, maybe, and pull the cav back even more. I don't know what I'm going to do on the on the right side, though. I mean, this is all light except for the heavy, which is which is brutal, actually. Yeah. Cav coming for your bows. If CA wants a historical work, they have to introduce features they've never done before and that they didn't do with Warhammer. I'm thinking more tactical options in combat. It's new box time. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, they definitely need to do something new. That's, that's like guaranteed. Uh, one out of ten. How much chances of winning are you giving yourself? <laughs> uh, I, I honestly don't think I'm going to win this. I might, I might give it like a four. You know what? Um, okay. 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 I'm this, this might be like really, really stupid, right? Or it could be hella smart. Like really, really smart. Probably not. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, uh, but if I, if I can attack their front line, their center is going to fall in and that's exactly what's happening. Okay, cool. Um, here we go. Here we go. Uh Oh my god, no, this has been a total mistake. <laughs> oh holy shit. Oh, I'm totally going to lose those archers. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, this is this is totally not amazing. Um don't do this at home. Uh That's fine. Where did that other Oh right, it's running away. Fine. Um Yeah, this front line is so rough. Oh god. Um Sorry guys, I am kind of concentrating here, but I will talk in a second. Not that concentrating is going to make much of a difference, really. Um... Uh, let's get these guys focusing on them. Really? Are generals fallen? Are you kidding me? Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Maybe uh, pushing them all forward wasn't the best idea. 
<laughs> oh well. It was it was good fun. I'll have to create a new army. I think if that if I micro that a little better to um like bait the, the cavalry in and then have the spears at the flanks go on spear wall. That that might have made a difference, but I mean either way, it's uh <laughs> not ideal. Ismael, hello man, welcome. Uh, I just wanted to, uh, hold on, let's just do this one. Just wanted to share that I got into Broken Crescent and, and, and it's really enjoyable and very challenging on very hard. Um, let's just auto resolve this. Uh, and I'm shocked by how the AI is good and the diplomacy, it's very, very good. I'll check it out, definitely. I hate cavalry, the enemy always gets away and I can't catch them. Yeah, they had um they had a lot of cavalry. They had a lot of everything, to be honest. It wasn't ideal. I'm playing a campaign as Bohemia whilst watching you, and it's not going well so far. <laughs> uh, what's happening in Practical Brit? Not that this is going very well, to be honest. I'm not sure why... why Constantinople isn't doing very well, either. What am I going to do here? I mean, I don't have very good units. This army is marching on me. Closer and closer. He comes. I guess we're going to have to just get like some cheap units here. Um. Let's get another army here and just start recruiting in this province, I'd say. Insufficient manpower. What garrison does Nicaea have? Okay, Nicaea doesn't have a garrison. So, why don't we attack it? I need to be... Ah, okay. No, that's not a good idea. Um... Oh my god, are you serious? How do I... Oh wow, this is lagging like crazy. Um... Seriously? <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Okay, uh it's fine, no worries. Let's just end the turn and, and see what happens next. Um let's do this one and replenishment, I think. Integrity's low. We're gonna have to just execute some people. Oh boy. Yeah, they should, they should buff archers. Yes. Playing a campaign as Bohemia whilst watching. Yep. Um, hi, how's it going? John, it's not going so well, really. I had about 60 people watching the stream before the battle and I lost the battle miserably. <laughs> about 20 people left, I think, uh, cause of my newbery. Okay, so they're besieging the city there, which is fine. <laughs> to be honest, beyond anything, I'm not doing a very good job of reading the AI. That's another thing. Um, and all my cities have the plague. 
That's not good. Impractical Brit. I started a new campaign as England. Captured Cairo as part of the crusade. Should I take the 20k or continue the war on the Holy Land? Continue it. Why not? Hello, Batalas. Hey, man. Coca-Cola is the stream sponsor. Can you imagine? Yeah. I wish. <laughs> At least the cavalry is a bit demolished. That's interesting. Why can't I... Hmm. Oh, right, right, right. Because there's a... Here we go. Assassination plot. Treachery! Rumor has it that this man is plotting to assassinate a member of your family. There is little proof, but if you do not act, the consequences could be dire. Right. Um, okay. Uh, just Jesus. Uh, we're going to send this army back. And... We need to get back and try and defend the city, really. In the meantime, let's get a few more cav units and some infantry over here. Oh, boy. Don't think it's worth looking at anything else here. Uh, da, da, da. Jerusalem, here I come. Nice. I have a question in this mod. Public order in this is painfully hard in my Nicaea campaign. Any advice? So, uh, yeah, I guess so. From my experience, um, there's a few ways that public order gets heavily affected. Uh, the seasons are a pretty big one. Um, when you have a lot of sanitation issues, that's another big one as well. Oh, my God. Where the hell did this army come from? It's just full of Pell tests. Um, okay, surely I can win this one. All you do is just take the Pell tests out with the cavalry. That's what you do. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna move the infantry forward. I've learned my lesson. Um, so yeah, uh, public order. I mean, you know. Uh, dignitaries are very good to maintain public order. Having a low tax rate is good. Um, making sure your cities have decent sanitation. Uh, there's a lot that you can do, actually. Um, so yeah, that's that's my answer, really. Okay, let's just have the infantry just chilling at the front here. Uh, we'll have the archers just behind them. I'm not going to keep them there, really. Um, and then we're going to have the cav go for their peltasts. Uh, the secret to Total War is to sit in one region and hammer the AI into submission until you have built up an, ec an ec economic and military capability in the snowball in every direction. See, I don't play that way, really. I get that. Um, I totally get that. But it's just not my play style, personally. I like to be a lot more aggressive. I personally play Total War like um, like I'm going out on, on all-out war, so... You know, some of the time that doesn't quite work, but um, a lot, a lot of the time, if you, if 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 I commit to uh, building a strong military really quickly, even if it's just strength in numbers, um, yeah, I can I can make it work. Gamer talking, the battle didn't go well, <laughs> basically. Alright, I'm going to just wait for them. Uh, Terminator, please confirm that the AI doesn't recruit agents. 
No, I don't think they do, actually. Tell me, if you could pick any faction throughout history to be in real life, what would you be? Damn. Um... What would I be? You know, part of me says the Ottoman Empire because I've learned so much of their history growing up and uh, just looking back at it. There, there's so much about there's so many periods in Ottoman history where you think, um, you know, they, they were in a massive economic position to, well, massive you know, they, they controlled a large swath of land and and to not turn that into an economic um, powerhouse to support your military is just something that I always found a bit baffling about Ottoman history. Like throughout Ottoman history, you'll find that they conquered a lot. And um, by around the end of the 1500s, they had reached the extent of their borders, really. But. Uh, but then they just kind of like stagnate. It's from for, for the next like 200, 300 years. They don't really do much. It's just like holding on to what they've conquered and, you know, infighting and squabbles and, and Janissary rebellions and whatnot. And I think, yeah, I'd be the Ottoman Empire. I try to um, I try to do that better, I think. Uh, do you know that how I can defeat Hoplites as Roman Parabellum because I don't have great strategy against them? Dude, honestly, I was pay I was playing, so I'm going to be covering the new uh, Parabellum um, uh, updates uh, tomorrow, actually. Uh, could have it, so I'll try and mention it there. But I've been playing that mod, and I've, I've seriously got issues with those Hoplites. They're, like, almost unbreakable. It's insane. I mean, the only thing that's worked for me is um, is just like straight up hammer and anvil. Like you just have a spear unit holding them and then you have a couple calves charging in and out. Um, the other thing that's worked actually is Peltas. So if you have if you have some jav units um, and you uh, even if it's just one unit and you throw you get them to throw their javs. Um, like maybe half ammo or even like three quarters, you can you can pretty much half that hoplite's force um, with one with one jav unit. <laughs> All out war, aka total war. That's how I play it. Yeah, that's how I play total war. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get started with this. So. All we have to do is take out their Pell tests, guys. That's all I have to do. It's, um... Feels like very much easier said than done. Looking at this massive line of infantry heading towards me, but... I think I can do it. As long as this front holds, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite unit in all of Total War? That's a really good question, actually. Um... My favorite unit in all Total War. Hold on, I'm going to pause this. I need to think about this. What is my favorite unit in all of Total War? You know... One of the units that always like shocked me. Uh, I always look back and remember the feeling of shock. Um, was the uh, the cannons in Medieval Two Total War, like the Great Bombard, for example, or or yeah, just being able to unlock that gunpowder technology and be able to 
absolutely demolish walls like those units for me were just it's it, it was like a new new completely new original total war kind of experience and gameplay that i didn't like i it just blew me away um oh what is my favorite total war unit damn um You know what? I love a good Spartan hoplite. I think that's my answer. I love being able to have like a, a line of hoplites that just in in like a decently balanced, you know, game or mod, right? Not Parabellum because the hoplites are ridiculous. But having those hoplites there outnumbered holding the line because I'm a big fan of the 300 movies as well, obviously. But, you know, being able to do that, they're just a really, really interesting and really great visually looking units. These guys walking. Let's get the general out of there. That one is, uh, let's just finish those guys. Oh my God. Let's finish those guys off. Let's take these guys over here. Let's try and snipe the general. Oh my God. There's a, another massive general unit there as well. Of course. Let's try and wrap around and take this unit out here. Okay, so far we're doing okay. Um, yeah, so far I think we're doing okay. Come on, lads. Peltas, man. How are they defeating my calf? This is just crazy. It's just <laughs> I've just lost the calf basically my calves just getting hit by Paltas left right and center These guys are stopping, but oh, 
on. These guys are up against Spearman now. Oh my god. I am just so bad at this game now. Oh. <laughs> Why aren't these guys... Pretty sure I ordered everyone here to attack. Oh, man. Well, it's a good thing my uh, mod spotlights are much better than this. <laughs> I think... I think this kind of spells the doom of the campaign right here. Maybe the Constantinople rush was a little optimistic. Uh, let's see here. Have I tried Death Stranding? I have actually. Look at that. Those Peltas demolished me. And fall back. And with that, both of my armies are gone. Um... One thing I hate about the 300 movie is the... They made... They made a, a racist Persia. Yeah, that's a good... That's, uh, that's a good point, actually. Um, yeah, I think, you know what, guys, Magi has hit the nail on the head, all right? All empires have done a lot of good. All empires have done a lot of bad. I mean, it's not, we're not, sing like, people here aren't singling Persia out for being depicted as, like, you know, racist in the movie or whatever. It's, you know, it is what it is. A lot has, a lot has happened throughout history. Am I right? I'm going to lose Constantinople. Um... And Sinop is under siege. I don't think I can defend it. <laughs> this is really not going well. And I don't I don't even have enough manpower here. Okay. Um it's gonna have to get super desperate now. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Oh God. Is that all? At your command. Ready for orders. Um let's see if this if this if this can hold out just a little longer and I get this army up, we might have a chance. Otherwise. I might have to start a new campaign in this live stream. Uh, Termi, you have Crimea. You can recruit. It's true. Yeah, I do have the Crimea. You know what? Actually, with with in in this mod uh, having the Crimea as as Trebizond, I've never known what to do with that region. Really, I guess I could just use it as a as a recruiting powerhouse. Okay, so they're attacking the city. Um, let's try and defend it. I think as... I think it was Ilya. As Ilya mentioned earlier in the stream, I'm going to have to be on the defensive uh, if I want to try and win. I need to basically beat these armies on my own terms. Um... If I want to then go on the offensive and, and and attack them, basically. I should really try and make peace with Venice as well, because I'm pretty sure they're besieging Constantinople now. Which is not ideal. Okay, you know what, guys? Uh, here's what we'll do. If I 
if the campaign is a total shambles and uh, it looks like I'm going to lose it, I will stop it. And because a lot of people have been asking, I will play some guitar for you. Uh, I'll play uh, I'll play a song that I've been uh, learning recently uh, that I really like. But I, I, I mean, I don't think I'm going to lose this campaign. Well, I say that, but um, <laughs> who knows, right? So they're set up on this side of the city. Oh God, I mean, are they going to go here? Are they going to go there? It looks like they're going to go here. So let's, let's set up ourselves for success. Over on this side, I think. Got these guys here. We'll use these guys in reserve. Let's get, let's get some archers. On the walls here. We await your orders. Yeah. We won't have fire at will on. We'll have these units over on this side. Ooh, a little janky. Heaven can wait. Heaven can wait. Uh, I've got a few more okay-ish units over here. No, I'm going to use one of these guys. Can they even reach the walls up here? No, I don't think they can. Yeah, so this is this is it. This is basically what they're going for. Let's get these guys over here. Let's move these in reserve. We've got more archers as well, so... Let's, let's just keep these guys as well on reserve. When they run out of ammo, we can cycle them up. And the Peltas as well. And then we've got two generals, which is nice because, I mean, they have loads of cavalry. And the towers will do work against them. But if we can whittle down their cavalry, then... What we could do is sally out with the cav and try to um, beat them down a little bit more. Do I want to use this barricade? Yeah, okay, let's use it there. All right, let's see what happens. As long as the gate doesn't open randomly, we're okay. It's already taken 50% damage though, so... That's not great. So the AI is only pushing up with two towers and two ladders. I guess that's all they can push up, really. What do you think about the uh, new announced start dates, 1380? I mean, we knew for a while, actually. Um, because they they had the start date on the uh, main menu for the campaign. Do you think this is better or DEI? They're both really good. I prefer DEI personally. Um, only because it's been worked on for much longer. It's a much more fleshed out um campaign, uh, especially from a mechanics point of view, compared to this one. Uh, Majai, do you play Spanish guitar? No, I don't. Um, uh, that's actually my dad's classical guitar up there. Uh, I broke a string. I broke my E string, um, a few months ago and I haven't fixed it. No, I play, uh, I play electric guitar. I play acoustic guitar. I play just, you know, I hear a song and I want to learn it, basically. Like, recently I learned, um, uh, Sonnet by The Verve. Super simple rhythm guitar, uh, but I like to sing as well. Um, I've done some singing with bands and such, so yeah, mainly I play the guitar as like a rhythm kind of guitar for songs that I like to sing, if that makes sense. You should, uh, you should learn Total War music on guitar. Tell Vito, so... I just buzzed out for a second there. 
Uh, Telvito, that's something I've actually been meaning to learn. So, yes, sir, 100%. I'm, uh, I'm definitely committed to, uh, to learning, uh, Total War on the guitar, for sure. What Total War would you guys want to hear? I'd probably want to do, like, Rome Total War. Um, like, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. On the guitar, it could be amazing. Medieval 2 has some really good songs I could do. Um, yeah, definitely, dude. I'd love to do so. I'm just like thinking about it in my head now. Which songs would I like to do? It's a good shout. Um, okay, I'm gonna pause this because I've done something dumb. I've been talking, obviously, and completely ignoring the fact that they're climbing the walls. And uh, my archers are right there. So, yeah, that was a little bit silly. Why am I so bad at this today? Uh... I love this like little like they're on the walls, but they're like Kind of defending themselves action here. That's quite cool. But these guys are losing, so that's okay. Um, let's uh, let's get the archers over here to attack this this unit. I think. Yeah, I think that's gonna do well. One five eight. Looks like the towers have bugged out over here. They're not really pushing forward, are they? Oh, where is this guy going? They've got two units up here now. Cool. All right. Uh, let's move this unit over on this side. Actually, um, get up to the wall, my man. You can get up to the wall and hit this unit from the side. That would be good. And then, um, There we go. I can just squeeze squeeze this unit in this little gap here. Oh, they're just going to push right through, aren't they? <laughs> oh, that's really good. Wait, no, no. Jesus. I clicked on this unit. There we go. All right, so that's those units done. 
have outside the walls are going a bit wild. So this this looks like a classic case of I'm I'm gonna win not because I'm very good, but because the AI is just being really dumb. Yeah. I don't need that unit in there anymore, I think. <laughs> look, at the, look at these guys up here, just like... <laughs> oh, Classic. Okay, so they're broken. We can chill with those guys. We can move this unit over here. still chilling outside the city bye uh have you played the stainless steel historical improvement project since since the last time no i haven't actually um oh no 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 come back guys no, I haven't. That's definitely something I need to check out again. Oh, here they come again on this side. Yeah, no, basically, yes. Uh, I have not played uh, SSIP for a while. Um, but I would really like to. So, yeah, it's it's on my list. Uh, what's the best overhaul mod for Rome 2? DEI, hands down. Yeah. Yeah, DEI. It has to be DEI, 100%. I mean, at this point, I don't, I don't really want to sally out though. Like, okay, there's only one way I'm sallying out. Uh, okay, and that one way is I'm gonna put some infantry outside, and I'm going to. Put the archers on the walls. So let's move these guys over here. Let's get the archers on the walls. Because if the infantry goes outside... Uh, they're all going to get baited into the front gate. I hope so anyway. They're just sitting out there. All right, let's see what happens. Let's try and attack this first tower here. Look at that! The towers started moving. Where are they going? <laughs> They're running away. Well, at least these guys are not moving around like crazy anymore. Uh. 
uh, Impractical Brit. Your options are basically DEI or um, Parabellum. I mean, those are the two uh, probably most well-known mods for Rome 2. If you wanted to do something for Wrath of Sparta, uh, Hellenica or Demetrios is, uh, are two mods that are really, really good that you can try it out, uh, out as well. Uh, there are plenty of mods out there that do some really good stuff for Empire Divided, for Rise of the, of the Republic as well. Um, so there's lots of other niche, smaller mods that you can check out. New World is a great mod if you want to just do a kind of a different alternate history style. It's not quite historically accurate, but um, but it's definitely fun. Like, it's really, really well done. And there is 1100 AD. I mean, the other medieval mod that... Uh, that's available for Rome too, so that's that's an option as well. All right. Uh. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to sally out the cav and see what happens. Uh I know that the archers are not firing. Hold on, I'm curious about who oversimplified is. Oversimplified. Oh damn, he is massive. Oh, he's doing oh, the the Punic War videos. Nice. I'll check it out. Definitely. I've been watching, um, like, just speaking of historical channels, I have personally been watching a lot of... Let me just find him in my history again. Of Historia Civilis. I don't know if you guys know Historia Civilis. Um... But yeah, he's a really cool YouTuber as well. He doesn't do like videos very often though. That's the only thing. But yeah, he's definitely he's definitely someone if you've never watched like any and you really enjoy like historical uh videos like about history, Historia Civilis is really good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just, literally, I've just bookmarked, uh, I've saved, um, Oversimplified, so I'm gonna watch some of his videos, uh, tonight, definitely. Alright, let's see if we can, like, flank this spear unit here. And then by doing so, bait all of this cav. And let's get all of these guys on fire at will as well. Hold on. Um, I'm going to put all of these guys up here as well. Just get them all up there. You know what I mean? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, they're coming. Or some of them are. Okay, yeah, yeah. They're, they're coming. They're coming. Oh, they're fast, dude. They're very fast. Oh my god, why are you just walking, dude? Holy... They're getting hit by archer fire, aren't they? Yeah, they totally are. <laughs> I'm so not good at this game. 
fine. If I lose a couple governors, that's not, not the worst thing in the world. No, get back. All right, so it started off rocky, but we baited these guys, and I think they're pretty much... They're pretty much done. All right, so all I need to do is just bait the rest of them, basically. Oh, I definitely watch Kings of Gen and Kings and Generals. Yeah, I really like Kings and Generals as well, definitely. Come on, just follow me, guys. Follow me. That's all you need to do. All right, I think some more of them are coming now. Yeah, maybe two more of these guys are coming. Uh, I might do some guitar gamer talking. I'm just like kind of into this battle right now, trying to actually play it. <laughs> No, no, no. Don't, don't get baited in. Get back, boy. Get back. Was this a light bow cav? All right, let's leave one of these guys here. Let the other one rest and then we can go out and try and bait the rest of these guys. That's that unit pretty much done. quick oh my god they're quick go man go
<laughs> Look at this. Uh, okay, some people are saying just go on the offensive. So... Uh, I mean... You honestly think I'm going to win this offensive if I do this? Um, <clears throat> all right. Let's do this. Um, I don't think so. I, f I do find it crazy though, like at this low of a unit with how much they've taken casualty wise and everything, they're not breaking. Like it's just a bit meh, really. The gods are with us. Pray for Jupiter. All right, let's let's just sally out then. See what we can do here. They have a lot of infantry guys. Like, I don't see this working really, but we'll see. Um, God, that was fast. I'm <laughs> just not paying attention. Come on, come on, Termi.
Why are these guys stopping? Let's go. No, I'm going to throw my general away if I do that. If you continue like this, you'll be praying to St. Peter directly. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just, I'm not having a good Total War day, really. I swear I'm better than this. A voice in the back of my head is telling me, don't worry, dude, you're better than this. You'll come back. The next stream you'll do will be better. Try and break that unit. I don't think that was a good charge idea. gonna do I don't have many options really See this charge up close. Kinda. A little bit. Man. You guys are going forward. That's good. Oh, that's a bugged unit. Oh, actually, this totally might be a bugged battle, you know? So, one thing I realized actually in some of these like medieval battles is if there's a unit. That's there, right? But it's not there. Then I don't think the battle ever ends. I think this is actually a bug that happened before in another live stream. Which would totally suck if it's happening now again. Obviously. Light piked infantry and yet two archer units can't, can't bring down its numbers. It's just ridiculous. Let's try charging it. Okay, maybe not. I mean, that's it. That's the last unit. There we go. There we go. Now, for some reason, Getting hit on the side is actually doing it. Wow. 
Wow. That's it. How did we do that? I only lost 600 men as well. To be fair, that 600 men is probably all of my cavalry and infantry. <laughs> Everyone else, the 1,300 men is archers. Okay, uh, these fake Byzantines can all die, basically. They're not the real thing. Certainly not the real thing. I've got another army coming up. Guys, we've kind of salvaged this, maybe. Kind of. <laughs> But yeah, so th this army is chilling there. He's going to be raiding soon, I'm pretty sure. Got that second army coming up now. So if we can get that two sin up, they might pull back and start replenishing. Um, I'm running out of food. Okay, yeah, let's get you. Oh, I'm so close. I hate it when that happens. Oh, so dumb. It's literally the dumbest thing. I mean, we're going to lose some units, but... Did we? Yeah, we lost one unit. But that's an army dead, at least. An entire army. The other one is pretty damaged, so... Um, I'm fine with that result. I'm absolutely fine with that result. Let's do that. Constantinople is under siege. And I might lose it. We've got these armies full of mercenaries, pretty much. And I don't have enough manpower either. I mean, this is just... This is so desperate. I've never seen it so desperate. <laughs> Here's that other army that just got demolished. I mean, if I could just get like a, a decently well-manned and equipped army, I could literally steamroll Nicaea right now. Um... <laughs> uh, it's a hell of a thing total war it's a hell of a thing um well I need food a I also need um Let's, let's get a muster ground. I think two like recruitment provinces here should help keep churn out the uh, the armies. Okay. What else can I do here then? I will be a patient audience. Uh, Pisa. I wonder if I can wrangle Bulgaria into uh, one of my wars. So they're kind of friendly with Nicaea. What about Venice? No, they don't want to. Um, why don't we make peace with Venice? Speak your speech so that peace. I the baths and wash away today's sweat. Um... Okay. I think we're just going to have to leave it then. At this point. Yeah.
Hmm. So what total wards have you guys been playing? Let me know in the chat. You know, in the last few weeks, I've been out for a while. So what have you guys been playing? Let me know. Personally, I've me I've been mainly playing. Um, so I've been trying out the Parabellum updates the last few days. I've been trying out uh, the Rome Remastered mod um, Imperium Serectum because there, there's a lot of good stuff happening there as well. Um, I have been playing a lot of Warhammer Three um, just to see what it's like. It's not historical, obviously, but it's still a good Total War, uh, in my opinion, and it's decent. I mean. The stuff that CA has done with the Warhammers is, it's definitely, in my opinion, um, uh, really, really good Total War. Okay, I'm going to take a bit of a risk here, but I wonder if there are any mercenaries in, um, in the Nicaea region. If there are, I might just grab some mercenaries. Okay, no, they're not. Um... Let's just stay here and replenish then. And then um, with this army, I'm just going to give any of my good units to this one. I have... Oh yeah, I actually have some infantry. Nice. Yeah, let's just... Actually, this is the better general. So let's... Let's switch you for... Um, there we go. Let's do that. That's not a bad looking army. So we can send this army back here to Trevizond, do a bit of recruitment, and then we can see Kaffa was mentioned. And... What could I do here? I think I'm going to go for some food. Just keep those food reserves going. And then I think I'm going to save the rest of my money. Take out an IC and then hopefully... Or maybe I'm, I need to reinforce this Constantinople. Try and save it. Uh, I hate when historians say, oh, this region was ruled by the Persian Empire and then the Greeks and then the Romans and finally the Byzantines. Uh, why do you hate that, Gamer Talking? Attila with the 1212 AD mod on Rome 2's Demetrius. Nice. Uh, George S. Patton, Three Kingdoms. What do you think of uh, Three Kingdoms? I'm curious. Oh, this is not a fight I'm winning. Um, just started 1212 as Bohemia with Mercenary Update, and it's much better experience. Just Roman Empire script is still wonky as hell. Yeah. I I mean I agree with that completely. The the Roman Empire script is is why I really don't like <laughs> that whole region as as playable factions. Um Yeah, let me know guys what you think about Three Kingdoms if you've gotten into it. Constantine Rise of Christianity for Rome 2. Nice. Non aggression. I think we're gonna agree with that. Good to see you've not lost the campaign. No, not yet. Uh, oh, and here come the Mongols marching further and further west on the map. Okay, so Constantinople's been looted uh, and taken. Damn Venetians. What are these Hungarian armies doing here? Um, right, so... Oof. Yeah, 
let's do this. Let's try and attack. Let's try and take Nicaea. If we can take Nicaea, that'll be a blow for our enemies. And um, once we get a second army going here, which actually I should have started, should have started already. There we go. Um... We can do a bit of recruitment. And let's just get off the stance, go into Sinop, make sure the public order is okay, and then just do a bit of easy recruitment here as well. What is the population like in Sinop. Um, where am I going? Oh my God, what am I doing? Uh, here we go. Jesus. Jesus. Population density is super low. Wow, there's literally no peasantry in the entire province. Commander. Um, I need to get the training grounds. That's what I need to do. Because these guys all use, um, Burger man manpower. I just need a little bit more money. Let's get rid of these guys. Still nothing. There we go. And then the rest of the money. Yeah, we can get one of those. All right. I'm just reading the, uh, I knew this was going to happen. Retreat. Destination reached. <laughs> God damn. All right, guys, uh, I'm not playing another battle like this. This is going to be uh, the end of the stream here. I usually stream for about two hours. I will salvage this campaign, I promise. I'm going to do another stream like this just to... I'm getting back into the groove of things, so uh, I'm a little bit rusty, as you can tell. But I hope you've enjoyed it. Today's basically just been about kind of getting back into it and... Saying hello to you guys and streaming again, doing some MK1212, having a bit of fun, even if I'm personally not doing really well. But uh, I I really hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you again for the people who become members and Practical Brit um, uh, for the donations and uh, for being here. You know, thank you for especially being here and, and watching the stream and supporting me and, and for the kind comments and, and chat. You guys are awesome. You guys are true chat. So... Thank you guys. Tomorrow I've got a great video coming. Uh so I'm very uh I'm very looking forward to it myself. I've got another live stream coming later this week. It'll be Dividate and Para. I'm much better at Dividate and Para. Uh so that'll be a lot of fun, guys. I hope to see you there. Um so yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys. Uh like the video if you haven't, if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't as well. And uh I will see you next time.